Could you introduce yourself and tell us a bit about what you do? Sure, my name is Juliet Hayes and I work as safety and environmental advisor for the Ambassador Theatre Group. I actually support the group head of safety and environmental services um, in all aspects of safety management for uh, our whole industry, actually our whole group, but actually supporting uh, the industry as a whole. Um, but I also take the lead in um, changing a culture for our group in terms of making our staff much more aware of environmental management and what they need to do uh, to help reduce the environmental impacts that our businesses cause on the environment. And what do you find uh, you most enjoy and find most exciting about your job? I, I really enjoy engaging with all our staff. There are about 4,000 uh, staff who work for ACG across all our theatres and our production uh, departments and offices. And actually trying to convince 4,000 people to start thinking green with all their working practices is quite challenging but really rewarding from the results that I'm seeing. Uh, one way that we're actually doing this in, uh, for March uh, 2014 is supporting WWF's Earth Hour, um, which is a global event and it's a way of raising awareness uh, with as many people as possible uh, by switching lights off for one hour across the world. All our thir 39 UK theatres and our one theatre on Broadway, the Lyric Theatre, will be taking part in this event this year by turning off all external lighting, but also uh, engaging with customers during that hour. And uh, we'll be basing ourselves at the Playhouse Theatre that evening uh, where Spamalot will be playing. And they're actually changing one of the lines in their production. Uh, instead of referencing the Dark Ages for that one performance, they're going to be referencing Earth Hour uh, so that our customers will actually go away and hopefully be inspired to do something and make a promise to the planet uh, to do something better and help save it. Great. And what advice would you give your younger self? I think I'd give my younger self advice to learn to laugh at yourself a lot more and maybe not take yourself so seriously, but also learn um, how to be, uh, learn to show a bit more humility uh, towards people. It gets you a long way in life, I've, I've found. And what was the first moment you fell in love with theatre? Probably my first memory of theatre is when um, my mother um, was asked to take on the directorship for the Dublin City Ballet. We ended up living in Dublin for a year and I actually performed in a production of Coppelia as a four-year-old and I was meant to be a doll that didn't move for the whole of the second act. But as a four-year-old it's very hard to sit still so my head kept turning and looking at my mum in the wings um, of the, of, during the production. But that was the first time looking out to the audience and seeing that beautiful theatre in front of me. I, I knew I was going to love theatre for a very, very long time. And if your life was a musical, what would the grand finale be? It would actually be a mashup of two songs uh, that actually make me happy. One of them is Happy by Pharrell Williams and the other song will be Pop Your Collar by Usher uh, because I find that when I'm feeling down or um, people have made me unhappy for any reason. Um, I actually play Poppy Collar and Happy quite a lot to actually perk me up and actually get me through the day. So I think a mashup of those two tunes, probably with Pharrell and Asher performing while I'm on stage with them, hopefully.